we will see about entropy production in this video. We have arrived at Clash's inequality in an irreversible process. We have seen that the entropy of two states is S1 and S2. This is the entropy change delta S. When the system moves from state 1 to 2, the integral delta Q divided by T changes but it is not quite equal to the entropy change. Meaning this yellow part of delta S does not come from Q divided by T. Now what is this yellow part? It is the amount of entropy that must be produced in an irreversible process apart from the Q divided by T. Let's see what is it mathematically. From the video on Clashius inequality, we have ds equals delta q irreversible divided by t plus 1 divided by t times delta w reversible minus delta w irreversible. Since the work done in reversible case is more, the ds term is greater than delta q irreversible divided by t. We can write ds is equal to delta q irreversible divided by t with a positive additional term. This is ds sub gen to indicate entropy generated or entropy produced. The reason for the name will be more clear in the next video, the video on second law. There we will see another term called entropy transferred in contrast with this term. Fine, what is this produced entropy now? These two terms must be equal. That is ds generated is equal to 1 divided by t times delta w reversible minus delta w irreversible. What is the difference term? Delta W reversible minus delta W irreversible. As we have already seen, it is the last work in the irreversible process, isn't it? Therefore, ds generated is equal to the last work divided by t. The last work is also referred as the exergy destruction. It is equal to t times ds generated. The important takeaway here is the idea of entropy production. Let's see the idea of hierarchy of irreversibility. What I mean is that there are processes which are less irreversible than others. For example, consider the blue path here. It is irreversible but closer to the reversible path than the yellow path. Let's name the yellow path A and the blue path B. When we consider the work done, it is higher in path B than A. Therefore, the entropy production is lesser in path B than A. Thus, a hierarchy of irreversibility exists in nature. If a process is less irreversible, then the entropy production is also less. But it is never zero as long as it is an irreversible process. Only for reversible process it is zero. We have considered only the system in these three processes, which is an isolated one. We'll see about the closed system or more practical systems in the next video where we will consider the surrounding. See you in the next video.